This tea is the most powerful detoxifier I've ever shared here. It improves GFI by 12.4% in just 3 months. Gathering here, I've been helping kidney disease patients take control of their health for more than a decade now. And we know today that when it comes to improving GFR numbers, it is not the stage of CKD we are in that determines if we are going to get better or worse. You see, even patients already in dialysis have been seen improving their kidney function. What this tells us is that it's the way we take care of our kidneys that matters. Think of your kidneys as the guardians of your body. They filter out the toxins, regulate the blood pressure, and balance the fluids. They are the ones who keep you healthy and strong. But if you have chronic kidney disease, your kidneys may be overwhelmed by a barrage of enemies. Enemies that can sneak into your body through the food you eat, the water you drink, and the air you breathe. Enemies that can harm your kidneys and impair their function. Enemies that can make you feel sick and tired and force you to rely on a machine to clean your blood. Those enemies are toxins. And the only way to defeat them is to equip yourself with the seven detoxifiers I will reveal to you in this video. These are the tools that can cleanse your kidneys, delay dialysis as long as possible, and help you live a longer and happier life. So if you want to make sure dialysis is not in your future, pay close attention to the seven detoxifiers we will discuss today. Now, I want to start this top 7 with a T. But don't let the fact that this T is our number 7 fool you. It's a powerful one. It's probably one of the most effective teas I've ever shared here on the channel. This is a tea that I especially recommend to those suffering from diabetes or inflammatory forms of kidney disease. This is an incredibly powerful preparation. Very recent studies found out that combining these exact ingredients can give you incredible results in terms of diabetic wounds healing. It can also help detox excess glucose from the body. And most importantly, this recipe can make the kidney function of patients in stage 4 of CKD go up by 12.4% in just 3 months. This is the Astragalus turmeric tea. Let's see how to make it. First thing here is Astragalus, one of the most powerful natural detoxifiers on earth, according to science. Studies say that it can lower blood pressure and improve heart function. It can lower blood sugar levels and treat diabetes. It restores kidney function in all the stages of kidney disease. Yes, you absolutely want astragalus in your detoxifying regimen, either in tea form like I'm going to show you now or in extract form. But astragalus is even more powerful when combined with certain other natural supplements that work in synergy with it, including Remania glutinosa. In combination with astragalus, this plant is a favorite of naturopaths around the world when it comes to dealing with kidney toxins. Remania glutinosa was in fact proven able to heal diabetic wounds, but only when combined with astragalus. Next ingredient, juniper berry. These berries you see here are a powerful detoxifier for the kidneys. In combination with astragalus, juniper berry is especially powerful against swelling. Next, turmeric powder. You probably already know about the huge benefits of curcumin, the active ingredient of turmeric. But did you know that combining curcumin from turmeric with astragalus could improve the fasting blood sugar levels in people with diabetes? Turmeric is incredibly powerful against CKD 
because it blunts the effects of the inflammatory molecules and enzymes that lead to kidney disease according to studies. Okay, so this tea is incredibly powerful but not the easiest to make. What I recommend here is to find an herbalist shop near you that carries what you need. Alternatively, I think you should at least add astragalus even in extract form to your regimen. This one is super easy to find by the way and it really works. And guys, if you like this recipe, don't forget to share with your friend and to give this video a like. But don't go away yet, I have 6 other tips to show you that will be amazing for detoxifying your kidneys. Including another tea that's super effective and that you can make with what you already have in your pantry. Before that, a very powerful detoxifier! Number 6 is cranberries. Cranberries definitely are one of the most powerful berries out there when it comes to detoxifying the kidneys. But while these tart berries could in theory be part of your diet due to their sour taste, cranberries are rarely eaten. They are more often consumed as juice. And you see, there is a reason why you should consider turning these tart berries into a habit. I'm talking about UTIs or urinary tract infections. UTIs are a hidden danger for the kidneys. Studies say that CKD patients are three times more at risk than the general population for these painful infections. And that's very bad. First of all, for the risk of a UTI evolving into pyelonephritis or a kidney infection. And also because even the antibiotics normally used for UTIs can cause severe kidney damage. Seems like we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. What to do then? Well, cranberries are the answer. You see, studies found out that proanthocyanidins, a type of polyphenols present in cranberries, can be used not just to prevent but also to treat urinary tract infections before they turn into kidney infections. In this study, a combination of cranberry extract, vitamin C, and lactobacillus rhamnosus, a probiotic strain, was used to treat patients with antibiotic-resistant UTIs. And with success! This is amazing for us because the only other option for UTIs is taking an antibiotic. In short, if you have recurring UTIs, consider taking cranberry extract as a way to prevent them from coming back. Consult a certified naturopath and show them this study if you also want to use cranberry as a treatment for an active UTI. Up next, a simple tip that will make detoxing the kidneys a breeze. Number 5. Drink a cup of ginger tea in the morning. Ginger is something I always recommend. Ginger is not just one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory foods out there. Ginger is also an amazing detoxifier. It works because it's a natural diuretic that stimulates urine production. And when you make more urine, you are also going to be able to get rid of more sodium, excess sugar, urea, creatinine, and other toxins. Yes, all that just thanks to ginger. Now to make ginger even better, try it as a tea. Keep in mind that the more water you drink, the better your kidneys are going to work. Unless you have a water allowance, obviously. If you drink lots of water during the day, possibly at regular intervals, you are also going to maximize any detoxing effort you are doing. So let's start the morning with this super healthy ginger tea. It's very easy to make. Just thinly slice your fresh ginger, use about a 1 inch piece of ginger per cup of tea. In a saucepan, combine the ginger with fresh water, use 1 cup of water per serving. Bring to a boil and simmer for 10 minutes. Ready! Time to see another super useful detoxing habit. Number 4. Supplement Vitamin C Vitamin C is a very important vitamin when it comes to kidney health. 
Many CKD patients have low levels of this vitamin, especially those still following a low potassium diet. And this is a problem. You see, vitamin C is key for heart health, for anemia, and it's also needed by the body for its detoxing properties. It helps the natural detoxing process of the body in several ways. First of all, it helps with water retention. Vitamin C has been shown in studies to have diuretic properties which can be also useful against high blood pressure. And vitamin C is also a powerful antioxidant. Never underestimate this benefit. You see, antioxidants are the new frontier of the treatment for kidney disease. They have been proven to improve kidney function, not just to delay dialysis. So always make sure you are getting enough vitamin C every day. You know, eat more citrus fruits, peppers, kiwis, cruciferous veggies, and strawberries. And also consider a supplement, especially, but not just, if you are still following a low potassium diet. In short, make sure you are getting plenty of vitamin C every day. Supplement 60 to 100 milligrams of vitamin C per day in the ascorbic acid form. Do not take sodium ascorbate, which contains sodium. And keep in mind that this vitamin is one of the most powerful antioxidants. And guys, if you want to know more about how to use antioxidants to improve your kidney function, I recently made a full video about this topic. It's up here and also down in the description. Alright guys, let me show you a secret detox recipe now. If you want to give your kidneys a hand, try. Number three, make some raw asparagus salad. Asparagus is not only super yummy, a great source of dietary fiber to boost gut health and of antioxidants that protect the kidneys. This superfood also has asparagine, an amino acid that works as a natural diuretic and increases urine output, which makes it one of the best allies of your kidneys, strongly supported by science. What many people don't know about this delicious veggie is that the way we usually cook it by boiling it in water may ruin some of its valuable nutrients. What to do then? Try shredding asparagus raw and tossing it in a salad. The smaller stalks work better for this. They are more tender. Just add some arugula, some walnuts, some seeds and some lemon to get a super healthy side dish. Okay guys, time for our number two now. I can't make a top seven of habits to detox the kidneys without mentioning dietary fiber. You see, fiber intake is key for kidney health and not just because of the many benefits dietary fiber has. Dietary fiber protects the cardiovascular system, helps with cholesterol, helps with gut health and regularity. And there is more about dietary fiber. Certain fiber supplements also act as detoxifiers. They actually bind to uremic toxins in the intestines, effectively getting rid of these toxins before they enter the bloodstream. And yes, when it comes to fiber supplements, what I recommend is acacia fiber, a very powerful detoxifier. When taken orally in therapeutic dosages, acacia fiber can effectively protect the kidneys and decrease uremic symptoms by acting as an intestinal form of dialysis. Acacia fiber was used in several end-stage renal disease patients with no residual kidney function who weren't able to tolerate dialysis. The results were shocking. The patients were able to go on for four years without dialysis and without any uremic symptoms at all. Yes, they were able to avoid dialysis for years. And guys, I've made a full video about acacia fiber because this is actually a supplement that can be used to help in any stage of CKD. My video is up here and also down in the description if you want to know more about it. Also check video description. There is a sale going on right now for Kidney Restore Biofiber, the brand of acacia fiber I recommend. Okay, but what's even more powerful as a detoxifier than acacia fiber? Well, our number one for today. This is a must in any treatment for the advanced stages of CED. Number one, the low protein diet. Yes, today following a low protein diet is a must if you have chronic kidney disease stage 3, 4 or 5 pre-dialysis. 
even if you have diabetes, says the guideline all doctors must follow when they treat a CKD patient. And the reason why the low protein diet is my number one of good habits to detoxify the kidneys is because a huge part of the toxins our kidneys have to deal with actually come from protein metabolism. So yes, this diet is the most effective form of detox. It drastically reduces your intake of toxins. Now, the reason why the VLPD is our number one for today is because it has been used with success on thousands of CKD patients. In some cases, even in stage 5 patients who wanted to avoid dialysis. I have recently shared with you a success story. A man that was unable to tolerate dialysis and that chose to follow a low protein diet instead. And if you want to know more, my video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.